In this third demo video, we're going to explore the app editor. The series is divided into three videos, one for each editor. You can see the table of contents on screen now. Windmill's app editor is a local environment that lets you build custom UIs on top of your scripts and flows. It's ideal for creating internal tools, dashboards, or simple interfaces that allow non-technical user to trigger workflows without needing to touch code. Windmill comes with a library of UI components, which you can browse in the documentation. Each component has its own configuration panel where you can set values and behaviors, and most components return data that can be used dynamically within the app. For example, let's drop in a slider component. It returns a numeric value based on user selection. We can configure it with a minimum and maximum range, a default value, and a step size. All of these properties can be set manually or dynamically using JavaScript expressions, like all properties of all local components in Windmill. For instance, we'll now add a text component and configure its content to react to the slider, pulling its value dynamically. This lets us connect components together to create interactive interfaces. Each app in Windmill can have multiple layers of UI logic. Let's introduce a tabs component, which creates separate containers for each tab. Tabs can hold any other components, and you can have as many as you like. Outside the tabs, we'll add a button that triggers a script or a flow. On the first tab, we'll place a text input. On the second tab, a text display. Here is that how it comes together. The button will trigger a script that takes the input string from the first tab and return a sentence that will then be displayed in the second tab. This is a basic example, but this system is capable of much more. Every component has its own configuration options and support visual customization through tone classes or plain CSS. You can change colors, layout, and spacing to match your internal design preferences. The app editor is especially useful when displaying large data sets. A common use case is using the AG grid table component. Each table's data can be populated statically or dynamically for front end by connecting it to a script or flow. A typical example will be querying a database. Let's create a windmill script that uses a PostgreSQL to retrieve data. This script takes a PostgreSQL resource as input and runs a custom query. At the bottom right, we see the raw result of the script, just like any other execution. But when in used inside an app, we can connect the result to an AJ grid table and control how it's displayed. We define custom column definitions, choosing how each field should appear. Windmill even suggests syncing column definition with the structure of the result to simplify setup. And now we have an interactive style table that display live query results. We can also add actions to each row, making the table not just a display, but an interface. For example, we can add a button component to each row configured to trigger a script. The button can dynamically pull values from the row it's placed in. So in this example, we might have a button to ban a user using their email from the row. We trigger the script with one click, and it works as expected. Let's also set a custom label and color on the button to match the action it represents. Component styling can be managed globally. Windmill supports a theme system, which allows you to apply consistent visual rules across your app using CSS selectors. You can define these themes at the app level, store them, and reuse them across your workspace, making it easier to keep your internal tools co coherent and polished. To wrap up on apps, Let's take a look at a more advanced and polished example. The use case here is simple, but it shows how interactive Windmill's apps can be. On the left, 
we have a table displaying a list of recipes, fetched from the internet. Each row includes the title, calorie, count, and total preparation time, rendered with an IJQ table, just like we saw earlier. On the right, we have a detail panel that updates based on the selected recipe. It shows a list of ingredients, and we can even adjust the portion size using a slider that dynamically scales the ingredient values. We can view the full recipe, see nutritional details, and display a picture of the dish, fetched live from the web. You will notice that even the button color on the panel is dynamically computed, based on the dominant color extracted from the image itself. And just like any other part of Windmill, we can interact with resources within the app. For example, we can share a recipe via Gmail using a configured Gmail resource. We modify a placeholder message, send it, and it works. The message is delivered. Everything was handled directly inside the app. Thank you for watching. Now you've seen all three main editors in Windmill, the script editor, the flow editor, and the app editor. You can also watch the video on local development and GitSync.